One of the most outspoken critics of the stadium sales tax issue happens to be a member of the Royals Hall of Fame. For the teams not to be forthcoming with seven years left on the lease, uh, I'm not surprised that uh, everything is such, so crucial and so such a crunch time. Jackson County Executive Frank White is a firm no vote on the renewal and originally vetoed the plan to put the measure on the ballot this week. In a statement ahead of the vote, White wrote, in part, our community deserved a thoughtful, equitable, and transparent approach to these public investments, one that prioritized the overall well-being and fiscal health of the county and our residents. It's too late to fix that before the election. County Executive joins us here on Heart of the Matter to discuss his position and this issue. Thank you so much for sitting down with us today. Uh, you have mentioned this renewal effort feeling rushed, while the Royals point out that they've been trying to talk to you for years about their plans. So where's the disconnect here, and why didn't discussions move forward more quickly? Well, I thought we uh, were timely in our discussions. I think when it came to us earlier, it was more about uh, getting the tax on the ballot. And most of that time was spent saying, hey, you know, I can't talk about a tax on the ballot until we talk about a lease agreement. And so that's where it kind of bogged down. Uh, it takes about 90 days for us to put our negotiators in place because of that process we go through. So I, I think that everything was more them being in a rush versus uh, us not being timely. They seem to imply that, that you were somehow putting up roadblocks. How do you respond to that? Well, you know, I think every, uh, when you run into a situation like this, everybody wants a villain. And, and I guess I'm the, I'm the villain that they want. But, but I really believe that my, my job as a, as a county executive is to do what's in the best interest of the, of the county taxpayers. And I have to make sure that uh, we get a negotiated lease so they know what they're voting on when they go to the ballot. That was a, that was a goal. And they deserve better. I mean, we've been, we pay more than anyone in the country on our sports teams and, and, and get little back. I just want to go out and just make sure that I'm doing my job. You're a firm no vote. Is there any version of a Royals relocation plan that you would support? What would you say yes to? I, I think it just goes back to uh, just sitting down at the table. I mean, I really, there were a lot of things that were, that were talked about in the meetings and uh, a lot of things we were discussing that we thought would be, uh, make us more equitable in this, uh, in this situation going forward. Uh, I think the people deserve more than to be straddled with 40 more years of paying $50 million a year on these stadiums and getting uh, very little back in return. Would you ever support a relocation? It's hard to say. Uh, I think that, uh, that, that, that that's not going to be my call. I think that's going to be uh, up to the voters. I think they're the ones who uh, have been uh, left out of this process for the most part, and I think they'll be the ones that uh, decide whether we, whether we go forward or not. I, I think the way things are going right now, I think that voters need a reset. I mean, they, they need this vote to, to fail because it brings everybody hopefully back to the table and we can negotiate a, a lease that everybody can be happy with. Well, let's talk about this hypothetical. If this vote fails, you know, the Royals and Chiefs have said they've had this implication, right, that the teams could leave the county or the market potentially if this fails. Uh, they both said that they'd have to explore all options if voters say no on Tuesday. Do you believe that? Do you believe that they'll pick up stakes if this fails? You know, I, I think what's most important is that, um, you know, I, I, love, I love sports. You know, I love the Royals, love the Chiefs, love all sports. Uh, but this is about business, and, and I think that the way that the taxpayers have supported these two teams over the years, I think that I was a little, I was a little disheartened to hear that uh, they would just leave if the tax doesn't pass, or they would explore other options if the tax doesn't pass, because they're totally uh, taxpayer subsidized. And I think for the loyalty that the voters have shown them over the years, uh, I thought that there was being a little disrespectful and a little condescending and maybe a little bullying to a point. Uh, I think that the teams owe, to, owe to, uh, the voters of Jackson County a lot more than that. Uh, I think they, 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 they should be more considerate. Would you work to keep the teams in town, in the county? Oh, definitely. I mean, I, I think we, any city is better off with, with, with a sports team than without a sports team. But I, I think that the whole uh, premise here is that we want to be more equitable with these teams. And, and, and we want the teams to be more equitable with the county and the taxpayers. Uh, when, you, when you come seven years early and you, and you want a 40-year lease, and, and, you, and you're rushing it, uh, and we have to rush, they have to rush, and they got this timeline, we're trying to meet their timeline, and, and, at the, and, and in the process, you're not sitting down to negotiate the basic things in a lease that you need to negotiate. And I think those are the things that, uh, that I push pause. So when I, when I vetoed it going on the ballot, it wasn't vetoing it to kill it, it was vetoing to give us more time to negotiate. Uh, but the, the responsible part was when seven members of the legislature voted to put it on the ballot without any agreement at all. And when that happened, the team just quit talking. So we have, I haven't talked to the team since that day. Wow. And they chose to go and, and negotiate with these complex authority or a couple of members of the legislature. 
But in terms of myself being the uh, administrator of the county, no conversation at all. All right. Well, we'll see you on the other side of Election Day. County Executive Frank White, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it.